Hi, my name is Alex Baker, and I'm here today to talk to you about the second part of the candidate self-validation process. Here, I have clicked the link that a candidate has been emailed after the candidate class was submitted to the international headquarters. You'll see a screen very similar to this. Click next. And you're asked to fill in a bunch of personal information so that we have more information about this uh, new candidate. Preferred name, middle name, personal email address. As I talked about in the last video, using a personal email address is very important here rather than a school address. Birthday, expected graduation, etc. As you scroll through, you can see some of the information we are currently collecting. We additional, additionally, we have some other questions that we want to, to get for demographic purposes, whether you're a college athlete, what year in school you are, et cetera. Finally, you'll create a MyTeek account here, which is very important because that MyTeek account will follow you for the rest of your Teek career uh, as, as an initiated member. You'll use that to log into myteek.org to pay your candidate and initiation fees. You'll use that to log in if you become an officer uh, to the Teak chapter module. Additionally, you'll use it to log in to our e-learning system at edu.tke.org. You'll able, be able to do your annual e-compliance directly in that system. After filling out the information above and creating your MyTeak account, you'll hit next and you'll go to our membership agreement section. Here you'll review the terms and conditions, enter your initials, click I accept and hit next. Now you see, you can see here as of the five step process, you completed two steps currently. Additionally, you'll be able to download a PDF and then go directly to MyTeek to pay your candidate an initiation fee. You'll see each of those are here. Click those buttons, fill in payment information, hit submit, and that takes care of your new member uh, self-validation. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us at support at tke.org.